Welcome to Talking Hope, breakthrough conversations about preventing, treating, and curing cancer. Brought to you by City of Hope, an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. Hope lives here in Orange County. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Talking Hope. I'm Darren Godden, and I'm pleased to be speaking today with John Remy. John is a prostate cancer survivor and a grateful patient at City of Hope, Orange County. When John was diagnosed with prostate cancer, he was prepared to do whatever he needed to do for as long as it took. But after only two weeks of leading edge radiation therapy at City of Hope Orange County Lennar Foundation Cancer Center, John rang the bell to celebrate successfully completing his treatment. John, welcome to the podcast and thank you so much for being in conversation with us today. Great. Thanks, Darren. I appreciate it. You know, I, I um, well, first of all, congratulations on finishing your treatment. Um, while it sounds like your treatment was fairly short, I, I'm sure there's more of a story to tell there. So first of all, how are you feeling today? Feeling great. No, no after effects or um, side effects um, at all. Um, yeah, it started out, it started out in March of 23, where I had a, a, a routine blood work. And uh, my primary said my PSA levels were elevated. So, so she recommended me to Dr. Yoshida, who she had known previously um, at City of Hope. And I scheduled an appointment in April. And um, I had a consultation with Dr. Yoshida and he uh, laid things out very well on what, what the next stages are gonna be. And so in, in May, it, this was a, more, more of a fact finding diagnostic time of the Mm -hmm. of the process so in may um, i had a prostate and mri and which showed some abnormalities in the prostate so from then in june uh he scheduled me for a prostate uh, a pet scan which is more in depth which which um they inject radioactive uh material into your into you and then it uh, will light up uh, abnormal cells. Mm-hmm. So during that scan, it showed I had a um, something strange in my prostate and also in my pelvic bone. Hmm. So that was that was alarming. So what they what they scheduled then was a, a pelvic bone biopsy to see if that was cancer. So that was a needle biopsy uh, that was taken, and that turned out to be negative which was that was a big deal for me and for them too they were very relieved so that was july and august since the pelvic bone was not cancerous they decided well let's check the prostate so i went in for a a a needle biopsy of the prostate and that came back uh positive in several areas of the prostate Mm. and they gave me a um, an intermediate cancerous diagnosis with a, a Gleason score of seven. So seven is um, seven is a lesser amount. Six is anything under six or six, they don't treat it. They just okay. watch it. They'll just watch it. But with a seven, they can do, you know, from then you, you try and plan a, a treatment session and then, or a, a path. And that's where I met with Dr. Yoshida again in September. So from then he gave me um, all the all the options: surgery, radiation, um, passive watching it. Um, but from then on, he said he passed the baton over to Dr. Lee in radiation because he thought, and I thought also, that the radiation would be the better the better solution for me. Gotcha. So you so you saw Dr. Yoshida. You made the decision that. Um... Uh, surgery was not the way you would go, but that radiation treatment was the best course of action for you. Right. That's- so you, I understand, were actually one of the first ones to receive care utilizing City of Hope's um, groundbreaking ethos radiation therapy system. Is that correct? That's right. So l- let me give a little background for the audience on what that is. So City of Hope is the first in Orange County to launch an ethos adaptive radiation program uh, which leverages artificial intelligence and Im- advanced imaging technology um, to personalize that therapy based on your anatomy or the patient's anatomy and their position in the time of treatment. And with that ethos system, treatment can be much quicker and in fewer sessions. 
And so that's probably why your treatment was only two weeks. Is that correct? Right. Um, there were a few machines that were available and the, the ethos was the one that Dr. Dr. Lee said, well, let's do this. This one is ready to go and you're a perfect candidate. And, uh, and, and from what I've heard in the past from friends of mine and other folks I've talked to, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, these treatments were not easy and they were lengthy, 20 sessions, say. I mean, just, and that's what I had in my mind what this was, what this was going to be. So mm -hmm. I was pleasantly surprised when after five sessions of ha a half hour each, and that was consecutive sessions. And then I, then I rang the bell after that. Wow. Well, tell, tell us what, what was it like to ring the bell that day? Well, it was emotional. Um, yeah, it kind of still is because I, I lost my dad that week. Oh, I'm sorry, John. So you had a moment of celebration for yourself and then also a loss that you were dealing with at the same time. Right. Right. Uh, we're sorry for your loss, for sure. Okay. Um, we are we're so glad you're doing well now. And uh, we're so thankful for you sharing your story. Um, you, you mentioned the other technologies that City of Hope has, and I'll I'll share that for the audience as well. Uh, we are very blessed here at City of Hope Orange County to have a suite of radiation oncology um, uh, uh, systems that are not available anywhere else um, in, in the U.S. So. Uh, we're very blessed to have those systems in place, but we're also blessed to have doctors like Dr. Richard Lee, or um, Dr. Uh, Percy Lee, rather, who who really know how to use those um, those systems to the very best. And and the the people who win the most in this is people like you, John, and our patients who get the very best treatment um, um, that that they need. So, um, John, thanks for for sharing that. Um, can you tell us about how did cancer change your perspective on life? Well, I've never really had any health health issues, so this was the biggest, the big wake up call for me, as far as um, dealing with a, a cancer. My my father had had a couple different kinds of cancer, and I went through that with him. But um, this one, this one gave me a little bit more, more of a outlook of of diagnosing something and actually getting preventative and checkups more often mm -hmm. you know for the most part and pretty much this is known already but it, guys don't talk about men don't talk about a prostate cancer mm -hmm. they for for any whatever reason they don't that's not something they're going to talk about out in the golf course or um but it's important I mean, getting screened, I would never have known. I, I, you know, my primary doctor is wonderful, Dr. McCaskill. She's, um, you know, had me go see Dr. Yoshida with a higher PSA. And it's easy. It's just a blood test. Hmm. You know, it's, it's um, easy to find out. And then you can watch it or seek treatment. But the best thing to do, you don't want to let it go like anything else. It's preventative and uh, preemptive strikes are the way to go. And um, I, I feel... I feel lucky that I went down to the new, the new facility in in uh, Orange County for the with City of Hope. They were wonderful. Everyone, all the technicians during the procedure were great, organized, from the from the parking lot through the through the process. It was just a great facility. It's almost like a concierge hotel. The way they treat you, it was wow. wonderful. Well, that's, that's so good to hear. We we often hear that people come to City of Hope for the science and for the advanced treatments that are available. But we love to hear that people really are moved and impacted by um, how great our staff is. And I have to admit, we have the the best staff around and they really do care for our patients and their families as well. So mm -hmm. glad to hear that that was your experience as well. Um, John, we ask every person on the podcast to share with us, um, what does hope mean to you? What does the concept of hope mean to you? I think I think it gives you some hope. The word just means it's hard for me to express, but I went through a lot through through the year, and it was it was twenty twenty three wasn't my banner year. Let's say that, but um, looking forward, and the hope 
hope gives me um, kind of a future, a bright outlook. Because I know now something like this can be beaten and you can move forward. So it's a big deal for me. I'm a single guy. And um, I think I've just learned it at getting getting treatments and getting diagnosed and using the facilities and the expertise of the of places like City of Hope is the way to go. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. We, we, we really appreciate that. Um, what is your message now to people? You, like you said, a lot of men don't talk about this. This, is the, this isn't the topic that they want to talk about on the golf course, but what is your message now to other men about prostate cancer or about getting screened or just taking care of yourself? I think, I think mostly it's, it's, you know, get your blood work done on a regular basis, get the numbers, find out what your PSA is. I mean, that's, that's, if you're not going to have symptoms, I had zero symptoms. And you're not going to know, and it it will. You don't want it to spread to other parts of your body. Like that's when I thought it was it spread to my pelvic bone, which would have been in my bones, and uh, a much bigger deal. But if you catch it early, like like I did in the intermediate stage, then your your prospect is of 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 survival and getting well is fantastic. And just one note on the ethos machine. Um, you know, you, I've heard bad stories about going into an MRI tunnel, all these kinds of things and claustrophobia, but this, the ethos, uh, machine, your head is not in a tunnel. Hmm. You're, you're taking out this small tube and your head is exposed. You're out in the, out in the open. You don't need a, a mask, a, you know, any kind of uh, gear on your head. It's just very comfortable. And it's, hmm. it's, it's like a no brainer. The sessions, the active sessions were actually about 20 minutes hmm. for five times. And then that's all, that's all it took in my case. It's just because it, it, it directs, it directs the, uh, it directs radiation um, more finely tuned to the mm -hmm. affected areas. So it's just, they don't just give you like a, a blast, but they focus in on the, on the cancerous areas. It's just very, it's a very comfortable. I, I almost didn't feel that I deserved to ring the bell from all the stories I've heard of other people going through 20 and 20 sessions. But for me, it was five and I was done. Wow. Well, that's certainly the difference that we're hoping that we're bringing to Orange County with our advanced equipment, advanced personnel, advanced staff, physicians who specialize um, in various types of cancer, um, you certainly deserve to ring the bell. You, you've been through the journey. Uh, you finished the journey. You're doing well. We're so glad you got to ring the bell. Um, and we're just excited to, the, to know that you're doing so well, John. And we thank you for, for joining us on the podcast today. Is there any other message that you'd like to share with folks before we sign off for the day? I'd say just <clears throat> get tested and take care of your business. Don't wait. There you go. Get tested and take care of your business. John, thank you so much for your time today. We, we really appreciate it. And we thank you for all of you for listening on today's podcast. Um, if you're liking the content, be sure to like it, share it, um, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you all for listening to Talking Hope, where breakthrough conversations about preventing, treating, and curing cancer have been brought to you by City of Hope an NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. This is the hope you've been waiting for. For more information, visit cityofhope.org forward slash OC or make an appointment at any of City of Hope's five Orange County locations, including City of Hope Orange County Lennar Foundation Cancer Center, the most advanced cancer treatment center in Orange County. Call 888-333-4673. That's 888-333-4673. H-O-P-E.